you know what, uh, I committed the sin, but that was my friend who made me commit it. Fair enough, the friend might be involved, but you admit you were wrong. I was wrong, that's it. What I did was unacceptable. I am to blame. That's condition number one. Condition number two, regret it. I need to feel regret and remorse. If a person comes to you and says, listen, I'm sorry for breaking the glass. And they walk away and they're smiling. And you're going to think to yourself, this person's not really sorry. Are they sorry? They're not really sorry. They're just telling you, ah, it's okay, I'm sorry. It's with their mouths. But when a person is remorseful, when they are regretting, you will find they've changed a little bit. So if they've broken something, sorry for giving you the example of breaking the glass, but it's something very simple. And it can happen and it happens to us. So what would happen is, the second time, or should I say, when a person says, I'm sorry, and they're really regretful, they will do something about trying their best not to repeat it. That brings us to the third condition. The third condition is, you ask Allah's forgiveness. The first one is you admit it. The second one is you regret it. Yes, I did this. I'm very sorry about it. And I seek your forgiveness, O Allah. That's the third condition. I'm asking you, please forgive me, O Allah. And the fourth one is to promise you're not going to do it again. Now that's a tough one, right? Because a lot of people say, you know what, what I did is wrong, I know. But I don't know whether I'm going to do it again or not. No! Don't say I know or I don't know. For as long as when you asked Allah's forgiveness, you knew in your heart you were genuine and you will try your best never to do it again. That's acceptable in the eyes of Allah. Allah knows you're a human being. So say, for example, a person's committed adultery. And what happens is they then say, Oh Allah, I admit what I did was wrong. I regret it. And I ask your forgiveness. And I promise you I won't do it again. And they cry the warm tears. Subhanallah. And they fulfill their salah and they try to change their lives. You have to make sure that the person you committed the sin with, you, your relationship with them changes to a certain extent because you don't want to be caught in the same situation that facilitated the first sin. And thereafter, if for some reason, sometime later, separated from your seeking of forgiveness from that particular sin, you happen to fall, Allah says, go back and seek the same forgiveness again. What if it happens a third time? Go back, seek the forgiveness a third time, and a fourth, and a fifth, and infinity. Allah will forgive you. For as long as you asked Him for that forgiveness, that is called, or that is the meaning of the name, At-Tawwab. At-Tawwab. You know when we say Ta'ibun, Subhanallah, it refers to two things. Because the hadith says, Man Taba, Taba Allahu alayhi. Simple. Man taba, taba Allahu alayhi. Whoever seeks forgiveness, Allah will forgive them. It's over. That's what the hadith says. You seek forgiveness, Allah will forgive you. Surah Al-Furqan, Allah says, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ It's Surah Al-Zumar. Allah says, لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, explain to my worshippers, tell them, and this is why he's explained it so much. Tell them, O oh my worshippers, those who have transgressed against Allah, and those who have oppressed themselves, alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim, those who have gone beyond the limits themselves, they have wronged themselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله. Do you want to hear what Allah says? He says, never lose hope in the mercy of Allah. For indeed, Allah will forgive every single sin that you've committed because He is most forgiving, most merciful. I am hopeful. I know I'm a criminal, meaning I know I've done wrong in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know I'm a human being. I know the sins I've committed, but guess what? I'm so hopeful because I have a Lord who's more merciful upon me than my own mother and father. I have hope and I will smile until the point of death. I will have hope and I will continue having hope no matter what has happened in my life. No matter what type of sins I've committed in the past, it's okay. So for as long as you have sought the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trust me, you need to develop that hope. Allah will forgive you. Because why? Shaitan has a plan. What's his plan? He knows Allah instructed us 
not to lose hope. So he makes us lose hope. And that's exactly what a lot of people do. I receive a lot of messages, a lot of questions, a lot of emails, a lot of comments where people say, will Allah forgive me? The answer is always yes. If you are prepared to seek forgiveness, yes, 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 he will. And perhaps he has already, but you don't even know. Someone told me I've been seeking forgiveness every day 20 times for the one sin I committed a long time back. You know what I told them? MashaAllah, when you seek forgiveness, Allah will elevate your status now because that sin was probably wiped out with the first time that you asked the forgiveness. The first time you asked it, Allah's wiped it out. Now that you're asking again and again, Allah's elevating your status. Allah's elevating your status higher and higher. But in your heart, you need to know, you need to feel that you are forgiven. We are not so bad that Allah will not forgive us. No way. Don't let people tell you, you, there's no tawbah for you. 